Shalom, Barakatah Yahweh, Barakatah Yahweh Shai, Ka Halal Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Waha Reka Kwadash, double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, the men who taught me this truth, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect that continue in the work of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, and all fear. Shalom. Faint not in well doing. And that well doing that starting with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, on down to any brother that is like minded in the spirit of Yahweh Shah, which is the spirit of prophecy, is to teach. And the people that we are teaching are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, on down to you so called Mexicans. And we are teaching you that you are the true. Hebrew Israelites of the King James Version. You are the peculiar people that are spoken of in the King James Version, which are the children of the Most High, the saints. Okay? And by us teaching you, we are teaching you that America shall be destroyed by the way of thermonuclear missiles. Right? Which really is a warning. Okay? The scripture tells us here in Ezekiel chapter 3 in verse 17, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. And by us being made a watchman, that's that well doing. That's that doing the work of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, or continuing in the work of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, by being a watchman unto his people. And being a watchman unto his people, that consists of prophesying unto the people that consists of teaching the people that they are the true hebrew israelites all right once again the people are you so-called negroes latinos and native americans on down to you so-called mexicans and we are warning you also that the most high is about to destroy this land all right it says ezekiel 3 and 17 son of man i have made thee a watchman unto the house of israel and when you're a watchman all right in the ancient times watchmen's you know, they stood upon the four corners of that kingdom, all right? And when an, an impending danger was about to come unto that kingdom, which the watchmen could see the dangers that was coming unto the kingdom from afar, which we are seeing the dangers that are coming unto America from afar, which makes us what? Seers, which makes us prophets. And that danger is coming once again by the way of thermonuclear missiles, all right? It says... Therefore, hear the word at my mouth, and we have heard the report. We have heard the good report from the apostles and the elders. All right? It says, and give them warning from me. And that warning is from the Most High. Once again, that warning is that the Most High is about to send all-out race riots through uh, one of his swords, which is Esau Edom, all right, the so-called modern-day white man. He's going to send uh, anarchy. Okay, the RFID chip, which he's going to put the spirit on the so-called modern day white man to try to make his RFID chip slash NFC chip mandatory. All right. Another warning is uh, famine, which is the lack of bread and water. Okay. And that ultimate plague or that ultimate sword that the Most High is going to bring forth once again are the thermonuclear missiles. We are giving you warning from all of these things, which shall come by the way or come by the hand of the Most High, all right? Now, all of this consists of the well-doings that the brothers that have put their hand to the plow are doing, which is doing the work, okay? Ezekiel 3 and 17 again, Son of man, I have made thee a watchman unto the house of Israel. Therefore, hear the word at my mouth and give them warning from me. And that's what we're doing, all right? Now, by doing that, we shouldn't weep, meaning we shouldn't take our hand off the plow. We shouldn't get scared. We shouldn't get weak in doing these things because there is a reward for doing these things. Galatians 6 and verse 7, be not deceived. The Most High is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. And we are sowing uh, the, the kingdom of heaven. Okay, we are storing up our treasures in heaven by teaching you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, on down to you so-called Mexicans, and also warning you from the Most High's wrath that's about to come upon this sinful kingdom, America. All right? So by us sowing that good seed, 
by us doing the work, all right, we should we shall reap, all right. Remember, uh, the scripture says the most high is not unrighteous to forget your work and your labor of love. All right. Matter of fact, let's get that. The book of Hebrews, chapter six, and verse ten. And it reads, For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love which ye have shrewed towards his name. And that's what uh, the prophets are doing, starting with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. All right? They are showing uh, a work of labor of love. All right? And that love that we are giving you, all right, is laying down our lives. Okay? Going out on the highways and byways and hedges, doing at least three Lessons a week as we was ordained by the spirit of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah through his men, all right, to warn you, to teach you, all right? It says, which ye have shrewd towards his name and given you your strong towers, which are the names Yahweh by Yahweh Shah, and that ye have ministered to the saints, and we are servants. The scripture says, the greater among you, all right, shall be the servants, roughly paraphrasing, all right? And we are great due to us receiving the I say of us receiving these prophecies through faith and believing these prophecies, all right, and bringing forth these prophecies unto the people. And the people are who? The saints. And to minister is to be servants, all right? It says, and do minister. So Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah, are powers or entities in the mindset of what have you done for me lately, all right? And that's why we must continue in the work, all right? And those that continue in the work, all right, you're going to receive a great reward, all right, as the scripture tells us. The Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and your labor of love, and that's a seat upon those chariots once this ultimate destruction come upon America that we are teaching the people are about, all right? Let's go back to the book of Galatians, chapter 6 and verse 7 again. Be not deceived, the Most High is not mocked, for whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap, verse 8. For he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. And that's what we're seeking, life everlasting. By what? Teaching. Okay? Having faith in these prophecies and bringing forth these prophecies to the people, to the saints. All right? And also to the heathen nations, starting with Esau, Edom, letting them know that uh, we are uh, next up in rulership, and to Esau Edom, his system is going to be totally destroyed, all right? And the wicked elites, all right, they're going to escape this ultimate destruction of America only for the elect of the nation of Israel to seek them out and to make them the first slaves, all right, to build up the kingdom of heaven upon earth for a thousand years. And after that last second of that thousand year period is up, all right, you're going to be done away with the council of the earth. Uh, uh, the son of perdition is going to be done away with, okay? But we are doing this to reap everlasting life, okay? Which is uh, sowing uh, uh, to the spirit, all right, and not to flesh, because corruption shall come uh, to those that, that, that are carnal, all right? Verse 9, it says, and let us not be weary in well-doing. And what's that well-doing once again? Us doing the work, us prophesying, us prophesying uh, the, uh, to the people, us warning the people about the impending danger that we see that's coming to the soils of America. And, and, and that's that well-doing, starting with the apostles and the elders on down to brothers that are like-minded in the spirit of Yahweh Shah, which is the spirit of prophecy, is doing. It says, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. And that's why we got to pray to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shad, that he allow us to endure unto the end. The scripture says, he that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved. All right, that's what we're um, going to reap, salvation. Okay, that life everlasting, a seat upon those chariots. Okay, rulership upon the earth. All right, that's why we shouldn't faint. Let's look up this word, faint. In the Strong's G, the pronunciation. Strong's G, 1590, Ekluo, Ekluo. It says, to lose, unloose, to set free, to dissolve, to weaken, relax, 
all right, exhausted. And we don't want to get relaxed, all right? We don't want to be weakened. We want to be strengthened. Apostle Ta always says you should grow in this thing, all right? We, we don't never want to get relaxed in this thing as if we've made it, as, we, as if we got it all figured out, all right? It says to have one's strength relaxed, all right? To be enfeebled through exhaustion, to grow weak, grow weary, be tired out. And we never want to get tired of doing this work. We never want to get exhausted when it when it comes to this work, all right? Never. Because to start this work, all right, you want to be a finisher of this work, all right? And to be a finisher of this work is to reap salvation through Yahweh Shai, all right? It says to despound, become faint-hearted, all right? And we don't want to be faint-hearted. You know, to uh, fear anything, okay? Because Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah, the power is to fear and not man, okay? And we must know that the Most High is going to reward us for, for doing this marvelous work because this is the most marvelous, marvelous work upon the planet, all right, to be a part of. This is uh, the book of Romans, chapter 12. And verse 2, and it reads, And be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind, that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. And what's that? The, the uh, acceptable and perfect will of the Most High is to warn the people, is to prophesy to the people, to put the skin back on the people. Also, number one, give the people the name, all right, and to explain to the people what's going to happen to them. And the people, once again, are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans on down to you so-called Mexicans, which are the apples of the Most High's eye, the true saints of the King James Version, the true biblical Hebrew Israelites, all right, to give them that warning, to, to give them the prophecies, all right, and it's 100% purity, all right, to warn them, okay, to, to teach them, uh, the ways of Yahweh, why Yahweh Shah. That is that acceptable and perfect will of the Most High. And if we faint not in doing these things, we shall be rewarded. And that we are starting with the apostles and the elders on down to any brother that are like minded in the spirit of Yahweh Shah, which is the spirit of prophecy. All right. That's that, that's that, that well doing that we're doing. All right. This is the book of John, chapter 21. St. John 21 and 17, and it reads, He saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, loveth thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, loveth thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all things. Thou knowest that I love thee. Yahweh Shah said unto him, feed my sheep. All right? And that's the perfect and acceptable will of the Most High. All right? That's that. Uh, 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 well doing that we're doing feeding the sheep all right and and who feeds the sheep the shepherd all right and we have been made shepherds all right until the the chief shepherd make his grand appearance and that chief shepherd is Yahweh Shai this is first Peter chapter 5 and verse 4 and it says and when the chief shepherd shall appear ye ye shall receive a crown of glory that fadeth not away. And that's our reward for fainting not. That's our reward for continuing in this work. All right. When Yahweh Shai, which is the chief shepherd, which have made us able ministers or able servants or able shepherds here in this end time to do the work. All right. And the name is Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai. All right. When Yahweh Shai comes, which is the chief shepherd, we are going to receive a crown of glory that fade of not away, which meaning life eternal. All right. To get out of these vile bodies, to be saved from the ultimate plague that shall come upon America, which is the thermonuclear missiles, to be saved from the RFID NFC chip, to be saved from, from famine. All right. Which is a lack of bread and water. All right. That's that crown of life. That's that well doing that we must continue in because these are all the things that we're going to receive for continuing in that. All right. This is uh, St. John. Chapter 10. 
in verse 11, and it says, I am the good shepherd, the good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. Let's read that again. St. John 10 and 11. I am the good shepherd, which is Yahweh Shah. The good shepherd giveth his life for the sheep. All right, and Yahweh Shah came to the earth and gave himself up to the Romans, gave himself up to the cross, which was a way that the Romans persecuted people in those times for the elect, all right, mainly, okay, for the elect to wake up in these times to save the rest of Israel because the rest of Israel shall be saved through the elect, all right? But first, the elect must continue, all right? And the elect shall continue. We being the hopeful elect, pray to faint not, pray to continue, all right? Why? Because the scripture says, uh, he that endureth unto the end, the same shall be saved, all right? This is... Um, Ecclesiastes chapter 2 and verse 13. Woe unto him that is faint hearted, for he believeth not, therefore shall he not be defended. So those that truly believe are going to continue, all right, by any means necessary, because we want to be defended in that day of judgment. We want uh, that protective hedge to be about us from the beginning times of Jacob's trouble all the way up into the thermonuclear missiles, all right? And if we continue in, in this marvelous work, which is uh, the, the greatest work upon the planet, and that work consists of prophesying the downfall of America, all right, prophesying the coming of Yahweh Shai, all right, uh, teaching the people, which are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, on down to you so-called Mexicans, that you are the peculiar people of the scripture, and to repent and to turn back to the Most High while there's still time. All right, because this kingdom that we're living in shall be destroyed. All right, Yahweh Shai shall make his grand appearance. All right, and contribute to the destruction of this kingdom. All right, it says, verse 14 Woe unto you that have lost patience. All right, woe means destruction. All right, mass death and destruction to, to those that have put their hand to the plow and lost patience. All right, lost their, their will to suffer. All right, it says, and what will ye do when the Lord shall visit you? All right, and that answer to that question is be destroyed. All right, because you lost patience. All right, we don't want to put our hand to the plow. All right, and, and, and look of back as the scriptures say. All right, because we won't be fit for the kingdom of the Most High. We won't be well placed. That word fit goes into being well placed, being well used. And we want to be well placed and, and be useful for the work of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shah. And Lord willing, if we continue, all right, the Most High is not going to forget our work, all right? He's not going to forget our labor of love, all right? Once again, Hebrews chapter 10 and verse 6. So like it. Hebrews 10 and verse 6. So like it, 10, 6 and 10. And it reads, For the Most High is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love, which ye have shrewd, shrewd towards his name, and that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. All right, Lord willing, I pray that this has been somewhat motivational. All right, Lord willing, I pray that this has been edifying and, and that it's also made sense. The Most High is not going to forget your work and your labor of love. All right, there is a payoff to doing this work, and that payoff is salvation. Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shah, Ka Halal, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shah, Waha Raka Kwadash, double honor to the men who taught me this truth, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect, Shalom, and death to America.